This is really kind of like the first line of defense. You know, I think the biggest thing you need to carry with you when it comes to EDC is situational awareness. Yeah, oh, 100%. Knowing what's around you at all times. You want to know who's around you because, you know, it's it's a crazy world we live in. And That's the best way to stay safe, is just being alert. Yeah. Because you're going to be a victim if not. Yeah. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex from ironinfidel.com. And today we are long overdue for an EDC video. And I have our newest member of the team out here with us, Matt, the operational athlete, okay. the guy that EDCs the most epic mustache on all of the internet. Yeah, it's got its own social security number, so. <laughs> well, welcome to the team, Matt. We're glad to have you. Thank you for joining us today. And we're talking all things EDC. Basically the theme of this, and we were talking yesterday, was I don't just wanna show you guys what we carry every single day because it depends on where we're going, what the situation is. So we kind of change our EDC depending on our environment. And we're really just gonna be showing you some of the options that we consider when we're determining our EDC for that particular situation. First things first, let's knock out some of the clothing. I wear obviously Iron Infidel shirts. We sell those on our website. Matt, you got your shirt going on. Yep, Operation Happy shirt, got my hat on. Howitzer hat, howitzer jeans. Uh, I wear these all the time. Let's move to belts first. Let's talk about belts. You rock Core Essentials. I also use Core Essentials. Uh, you wanna talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so the thing I like about Core Essentials is they have so many different options. So you can wear dressed up, black leather, brown leather. Mm -hmm. um, you have your tactical options. Some of these are a little thicker and they have the ratchet system, which is great. Interchangeable um, belt buckles and it, just gets that perfect fit. Yeah. You know, if you're wearing a regular belt with holes and all that, you can't really find the right fit for your body and your gun sometimes. So you're either too tight or too loose. But with these ratchet systems that you can see here, it's perfect every time. And yep. that's my preferred pick yep. over the Aries, but that's another option here. Yeah, yeah. What you're thinking is just stiffness. You don't want something that's so loose that it's making your making you print because the gun's actually sag sagging, especially if you have like a full size gun. Now let's talk about situations you're actually in because Going to the store is gonna be different than going to the gym. You have different attire and you're gonna be doing different things. For me, if, if I'm gonna be going into hill runs, I'm not gonna have a gun on me in my shorts doing that. So I'll carry something like this. This is a Everly Stock uh, H7 dagger. It's basically a hydration bladder, but I really just use it for the purpose of having a pack on me that's small on my back that I carry firearm. I can carry things that I actually need and it's not cumbersome while I'm running. You've got a couple options here that you carry, like the, the pack you have there. Yeah, so this is like a runner's fanny pack. Um, this mounts to your chest, comes around, and then, uh, yeah, you can carry a gun in here. You know, any of, the, any of these guns will fit in here. Carry a knife in here. Um, whatever you want, your ID, all that. You know, EDC is, yeah, when people think about that, they think about weapons, you know, for the mm -hmm. most part. But you definitely make, gotta make sure you have all your shit on you at all times. Like for me, I gotta have my badge if I have my gun. Yeah. I have my ID if I have my gun. Um, Make sure you have a phone because that's going to be your your lifeline if you need it. Yeah. And then, uh, so I like wearing this when I run. I just buy Lift Fit, and uh, yeah. I actually like that option better than what I have because when I'm running, it's on my back. It'd be much more effective to have it on the chest. Yep. It's easier to I'm access. Like yep. Yeah. So I prefer that actually. Let's run through some of these knives and stuff you got. When I'm wearing jeans or something like that, I have these knives from Tor. You know, a couple different ones. You know, this is more of a slim profile, and. Uh, you know, you can clip on the belt, inside the waistband, however you want. And this is, you know, a little bit more thicker, a little uh, more heavy duty. Put the ulti clip on this. Um, these things are amazing. They ratchet to anything, pretty much. I have a carbon fiber spike, kind of like your knife. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I can put this in my sock, whatever. I can carry this in the places that have metal detectors, stuff like that, if I need to. Um, just because I like to be protected at all times. Uh, you know, protector by nature. My boy Byron says, and these are my carbon fiber knives. So I, I, I developed these with my buddy Shalom who is an ex-Israeli sniper. And okay. um, I told him, I was like, I want something that'll clip to my running shorts that I can run with that's lightweight. And like, you can feel this thing, like it's, it doesn't weigh anything. Holy cow. Yeah, so like, I've had a bunch of people hit me up and they tell me uh, I'm out running and I completely forget I have it on me sometimes. Like I've, I've had guys like throw their stuff in the dirty clothes, like, oh, my knife's on there. And- um, Where do you keep that on your body? So I'll put this over, uh, more towards this side right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then just like, right here just and it's, it's it's all rounded the entire knife is rounded on all sides so you get no chafing nothing like that 
mm-hmm. and uh, the ulti clip will hold on to whatever you have running shorts anything yeah. Um, so I like that. I like to be protected when I'm running, either if I have my fanny pack on or if I just have my knife. Something. Yeah. I've got uh, a Benchmade here. This is something I can throw on my ankle if I want to. It's just a little pick. goes on the ankle, not during running, but, you know, it's just everyday carry. If I want to do that, I've got an Emerson, just cheap knives. I'm not a huge knife guy, knife guy so I don't buy the most expensive knives out there. I'm just looking for something I can carry that's $50 or less. And if I lose it, whatever, I'll just buy another one. Now let's talk about our EDC firearms. Obviously we live in a warm weather climate. Do you carry the same firearm every single day all throughout the year? No. So you have different different levels? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, we live here in Southern California. Like I'm at the beach, you know, I'm working out, um, wearing workout shorts, stuff like that. And yeah, so I, I carry a Glock 43 when I'm in like a board shorts or something like that. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm not in board shorts and jeans, whatever, comfortable, button up shirt, flannel, whatever it is, I carry my Glock 19. Yeah, so basically, my thought process is it is you want to have a balance between comfort and capability. Uh, you, you don't want to get a full size gun thinking that you're going to be extremely capable with it, but after two weeks, you just never carry the thing again. And that happens, I feel like, all, all the time. Yeah. Um, so I've got a couple options. I use worst case scenario, I'm not confident uh, with this firearm. I don't train with it enough. This is Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. But board short situation, if it's your only option, it's better than not having an option at all. So this is something I do periodically carry during the super hot months. And then typically I'm going appendix with a Glock 19 in a uh, compact Victor gear holster. Appendix is my favorite position to carry and appendix is a little finicky. Not everybody can carry appendix and we'll talk about that. It really depends on your body type. Uh, We were talking earlier, if you have stiff hip flexors and you have an anterior pelvic tilt where it pushes your stomach and pushes your tel- your pelvis forward, it's probably not a good option for you because you're going to be printing outside of your shirt. Why don't you talk about what you use and, you know, orientation of your firearm? Yeah, so I, I carry Glock 19, um, the Surefire Light on it, uh, X300. I have a G-Code holster, but when it comes to like all my weapons, carrying concealed or on duty or in any tactical realm, I always carry it at the three, four o'clock. And for me, it's based on muscle memory. I've been carrying my gun right here for over 15 years now. And I just wanna make sure when, you know, shit hits the fan and my, you know, I'm go, 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 my adrenaline's pumping. It's the same movement for me every time. I'm coming down to the same location. And for me, like carrying appendix, I don't know if it's because it's like my shirts, my physical appearance, whatever, I just print too much at the front. Yeah. And it's also uncomfortable for me. I don't like to sit down and go, so right here, it's fine, and uh, I, I've been doing it for 15 years, so it's 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 programmed. Yeah, either one of them is a good option. It's really yeah. personal preference. Absolutely, and the, it depends on your body type, whatever you like, whatever you train, but just make sure wherever you're going to carry that you're training that way. Yeah. I do want to talk about people who have to EDC in states that aren't free, like California. There are options for you like this. This is a Taser Pulse Plus. This is not a lethal force option. It's less than lethal. It can be lethal if it's used in certain circumstances, but this is an option for you to consider. Basically what it is, it's a drop and go device. So I would recommend this for like females who work late at night and they have to walk to their car after work by themselves. Throw this in their purse, have your hand in your purse as you're walking. If something was to happen, you can pull this out. It shoots these um, probes, which you've probably seen in a video uh, already before this video published. It gives a 30 second ride. Most cop tasers like the X2, and the X26 and X26P, they give five second rides. The reason for that is because cops, when you tase somebody, the intent is to detain them afterwards. It gives you, buys you time to place handcuffs on them. Civilians, if you're gonna tase somebody, it's to buy you time to get out of there. So this is a 30 second ride. Basically what you do is you, you tase the person, drop the device, it gives you 30 seconds if you actually get that good NMI, neuromuscular incapacitation, and they're downed, and then you can take off and get to a, a safe location. So I do recommend tasers, but the one thing to know about tasers are you have to be within close proximity and make sure you land that one good shot because if you don't, you find yourself in a bad situation. Yeah, yeah watching you get tased the other day was, uh, <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't there. I wish you were there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get you in on that one. Okay, lights. Let's talk about lights. I have the Surefire Stiletto here. The reason I like the Surefire Stiletto is first of all, it's rechargeable and it has uh, this thin profile. So I can wear it in my front pocket. I don't like uh, some of the bulkier round ones that you put in your, put in your pocket and they kind of just are uncomfortable. So I really like the stiletto for that reason. And lights in general, you always want to carry a handheld light with you, even if you have a firearm light. And I've seen a lot of 
A lot of cops who don't carry a handheld light on their EDC because they have their light on their gun. But realistically, when you're thinking of EDC, at least I'm not always thinking about being in a gunfight. I'm thinking about any situation. So I don't want to conduct a search with my firearm when it's not a lethal force encounter. I don't want to have my firearm out. Yeah, you never know if the power is going to be cut out. It could be in a mall. It could be in a basement somewhere else. And you want to multiple lights is great because you can, you know, look one place while having your gun in another place. Yeah. And it's just more tactically efficient, bottom line. Yeah, exactly. And that the mall light going out, you don't need a gun out in that situation, but you do need a light. But what do you got there? Uh, this is just a Streamlight uh, Protac 2L. I've had this thing forever and... Uh, it's great. I mean, I, I beat it up. I've carried it overseas. I've carried it, you know, 10-8, yeah. all that. And, you know, one of the main reasons I like carrying a light is we were talking about, you know, certain places still don't allow law enforcement to carry, you know, whether it's a Staples Center, Disneyland, stuff like that. I can't bring a knife in. I can't bring a gun in, but I can bring a light in. Yeah. And I can blind somebody. I can hammer fist with this. This can become a lethal weapon if I need to. Next wallet. I've got... Um the Kane Pro Gear wallet. This has RFID blocking capabilities so nobody can go like awesome. watch dogs on you and steal your identity. Um, also, I just like Kane Pro Gear because they're great guys. They have the best memes on the internet. So if you're looking for a wallet, I definitely recommend Kane Pro Gear. Do you have any wallet preference or just something random? No, I mean, I, I carry just a, a normal wallet, you know, but I have my badge in there and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I'm still active at least. So mm -hmm. I got to carry that on me at all times whenever I'm carrying my firearm. Yeah. Like, Guys, EDC, like I said, it's a balance between comfort and capability. If you get a full size gun and you buy all this stuff after a month, you're, in my opinion, you're probably not going to use it or carry it all the time. You want to buy something and use stuff that you know you're going to carry with you every single day. That's the whole point of EDC. And I really like that you brought out all this stuff and we talked about the fact that it really, there's no one good setup. It depends on what you're wearing that day, where you're going that day. You got any parting shots for these guys? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great to have all this stuff, and we talked about this, but, you know, I think the biggest thing you need to carry with you when it comes to EDC is situational awareness. Yeah, oh, 100%. Knowing what's around you at all times. Mm -hmm. So if you're sitting in your car on your phone looking down in this bad neighborhood and some guy's walking up on you, having the best knife, the best gun, the best belt isn't going to do anything for you. Mm -hmm. So just staying alert, you know, um, knowing your environment at all times. You're in a restaurant, you know, knowing who's walking in. Take a look back. It's not being paranoid. It's being ready yeah because you never know especially as you know a father a mother whoever a protector mm -hmm. you want to know who's around you because you know it's it's a crazy world we live in and unfortunately that's the best way to stay safe is just being alert yeah and and care just because you carry something like this doesn't mean you're invincible no. this is not the answer to every situation in fact 99 percent of the time this is the wrong answer to whatever situation you're in so being you know it's driven into cops heads to maintain officer presence and part of the officer presence is your appearance your physique your physical capability to defend yourself in a fight all of that stuff is just as important as carrying the coolest or latest and greatest firearms yeah this is this is my last resort i don't want to have to stab somebody shoot somebody i'd rather just let them look at me and say this guy's not a victim mm -hmm. i'm going to go on to the next person you know i make eye contact be with a hard me. target every yeah everybody that walks by me i make eye contact with like hey how you doing you know mm -hmm. even if they don't say it back i'm like okay i understand who this guy is now yeah you know but he knows that i saw him He's not going to walk up behind me now because mm -hmm. you're there. I know you're there. And he knows you're paying attention. Yep, absolutely. Your face is not buried attention. in the phone. Situational awareness at all times. You know, and I see a lot of you know the, the younger generation. They're just walking around like this constantly, just boom, boom, boom on the streets. I mean, just take take that five minutes, get to where you got to go, find a safe spot, and then you know play on your phone, do whatever you do, because you're going to be a victim if not. Yeah. Well, Matt, thank you again. I can't tell you how much I'm, how happy I am to have you on the team. I appreciate you coming out here no, to join us. It, Absolutely. Guys, we'll put links of all this stuff or as much as we can, because we've got a ton of stuff here on the table <laughs> in the description below. And hopefully I'll link it in some of the uh, video. But like you said, the most important thing and that you can EDC with you every day is common sense and situational awareness, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.